Attorneys of an illegal immigrant who was running from a Nassau County deputy when he was hit and killed, well, they're pushing for his criminal charges to be dropped. News for Jack's reporter Allison Henning is joining us live outside the Nassau County Courthouse where a hearing just wrapped up. Allison, what happened? Well, today we heard testimony from witnesses on both sides and saw a video from the day Deputy Eric Oliver was tragically killed during a chase. Of it all, the longest testimony by far came from the U.S. Border Patrol agent who approached Portillo Fuentes and five other men at their truck at the Gate gas station back in 2016. Surveillance video from November 2016 outside a gate gas station in Yuley was played inside a Nassau County courtroom today. The video shows some of the interactions between a Border Patrol agent and six men at a gas pump, including illegal immigrant Francisco Portillo Fuentes. He's the man you see here wearing a bright green jumpsuit. Portillo Fuentes is facing multiple charges, including felony murder and aggravated manslaughter after running from a Nassau County deputy who subsequently died after getting hit by an SUV during the chase. The defendant's lawyers are pushing for his charges to be dropped for multiple reasons, including what they say are untrue statements from a key witness. According to the defense, the Border Patrol agent told a grand jury he saw the group of men acting nervous and suspiciously when they saw two Nassau County deputies at the gas station. But video presented today shows those deputies were not there when the agent said they were. The defense says the men were doing nothing wrong when the Border Patrol agent approached them. The state argues that agent testified it was a consensual encounter, which changed when three of the men admitted to being in the country illegally. That's when Portillo Fuentes ran. Throughout the hearing, there were several deputies with the Nassau County Sheriff's Office in the courtroom, including their leader, Sheriff Bill Leeper, who was sitting in the front row. Now, today, the judge did not make a ruling. However, he did set a pass date that is set for August 1st. Reporting live in Nassau County, Allison Henning, Channel 4, The Local Station.